All right, back now, 836 with Today Food. This morning, a delicious down-home barbecue dinner. Reed Drummond staked out her territory online with her popular blog, The Pioneer Woman. Now she's exploring a new frontier <laughs> with this week's launch of a brand new lifestyle magazine with the same name. Reed, good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you, Matt. The magazine's a big deal. I'm excited. You know, I've been blogging for about 10 years, and this is a, a sort of an extension of my blog. Food and family, lifestyle. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I love your recipes. Talk about what we're going to make today. We're making barbecue whiskey sliders. This is the kind of thing I like to throw together, whether I'm cooking for my boys or a house full of people for a big football game. It's so easy. It's just uh, throw it all together, let it simmer away, and people can serve up themselves. Looking at the ingredients over there, as you mentioned, pretty easy, not a lot to talk about. You make small patties of ground beef. Small patties, and all I did was season it with salt and pepper because you're going to see in a second that there are a million flavors uh, in the sauce. So once you get the patties going, you let them cook. I love the Today Show because everything is ready. Yeah. <laughs> I can just keep moving down. It's like an assembly line. Exactly. So after these are cooked, you'd save some of the juice they leave behind. Exactly. That's where a lot of the flavor is. So I take the patties out, and then the sauce happens, which is just onion. Cook this around. I like to get the onions pretty caramelized. We'll speed forward. But one of the key ingredients is whiskey. Okay. You can use beef broth if you're not into booze. Are but you kidding me? <laughs> you want to substitute whiskey for with beef broth? Well, I'm just providing options. Not that I would ever do it. Carson, like that. have you ever substituted <laughs> beef broth for whiskey? <laughs> Never in my life, Mr. Lauer. <laughs> yeah. But now, this is delicious, by the way. It's it's too late in life to worry about doing that, Carson. <laughs> That's right. So then, after this all cooks down, I just use good bottled barbecue sauce. It's a good convenience ingredient, and then jarred jalapenos. So there is nothing complicated about it. That cooks. For for how long? This just cooks for five minutes, okay. simmers away, and then this is what the sauce looks like. It's beautiful and rich and thick, and the patties just go right in. Ooh, that's hot. That's why they gave me a hot pad. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had all my coffee today. So what I love about this is you just let the patties simmer away in the sauce, and then I have toasted buns. The guests come. Spoon the sauce over the patty. You don't have to be neat. Get, get a little extra sauce on there. I know. I want pop it right in one I'm of those. I'm glad I don't have to be neat because that's not in my nature. So the buns are toasted. How do these taste, guys? Can I? Uh, it's incredible. How it's like the, the best little bird so we've ever had. It's so juicy. Can you hear Dylan? She's asking I, how the meat's so tender. It's just well, I think it helps to simmer them in the sauce for a while, and it just mm. imparts a lot more of that beef flavor. And then it is so spicy. It's got a pretty spicy kick to it. So I've got just a simple coleslaw with cabbage, peppers, carrots. Sometimes if you want to sweeten it up, you can add some shredded apples. Which I, like I like traditional to... slaw. Yeah. Now here's the big question to see if we're going to get along. And I'll, I'll poll our little team downstairs. Do I you can't serve wait to hear. the coleslaw on the side or do you put the coleslaw right on the slider? I put it on the slider. Because mm, I just loaded mine up. Our sliders, sliders are so oh, spicy oh, I'm a side, that side. it really yeah. cools down right on the it. spice. Put it inside. And I love cilantro. cilantro. Oh. So Matt, just for you, I'm going to serve it up the way you like right it because that's what I'm there. here for. And then I will take a bite of that. Savannah, Go you've been it. strangely silent. <gasps> no, that's because my mouth is full. It's, right. um, mm. yes, yeah, strangely silent. It's this delicious. Is this silent. is amazing. It really is. You know what's great also? We have these whiskey sliders, and you know what she teams it up with? Mm. Sangria. Mm. So we've got like a, it's like a one-two punch. <laughs> I'm injecting a little class into the mix. So. What do you put in your sangria? Anything You know special? what? All this is is rosé wine. Uh, chunks of watermelon and <laughs> how you doing there, Matt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a little prosecco, just or you can just do sparkling wine. But I love the chunks of watermelon; it just screams summer to me. So all these recipes are in the magazine. I kind of picked out my very favorite crowd pleasers for my first issue because I really wanted to put my favorites in there. So. I have coleslaw on my chin, seriously. You don't have it on no, your suit, no, and that's all good. that matters. <laughs> okay, Re, that was fantastic. Thank to get you. all these recipes, head to today.com/food. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.